Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to Black Country Diecast for another video taking a nasty old car making it look slightly less nasty because I'm not really that good anyway I'm filming a couple of videos at the same time here trying to get back on track as you can see, whoops sorry as you can see got the Porsche 944 in there might have been the last video might be the next video who knows I ain't decided yet but I got this one. Now I've already drilled it out because I needed to see what state the wheels are in before I committed to doing it because I'm, I'm not really that good. And we got this Corgi, I believe, Whiz Wheels. Yes, Beetle 1200 Saloon. And we've got the body, the interior, and the reason the wheels were broken was that piece of suspension was snapped. I'm not going to bother trying to fix it. All I'll do is super glue the axle in. I'm not that bothered. In fact, I'll probably just take out this whole suspension. Oh, look at that. Well, that's that brittle. It's just falling off in the end. So we'll just we'll super glue those in place and that should be fine. So I'm hopefully going to be able to fit it in here with that one. We'll get a couple going at the same time. <clears throat> oh, that just pops out nice and easy. All the plastics give them a nice clean up. It's a nice, oh, again, it's a, not in bad nick. You just benefit from a new paint job, some extra details. Just making it look a bit nicer. So, we'll be back when he's all stripped, bare metal, and ready to go. Okay, the Beatles finally stripped. When you saw it going in the in the uh, paint strip for that, that was Bank Holiday Monday. It's now Thursday. It's taken on that bloody long and that much stripping. I ended up having to use a drain cleaner that had caustic soda in it, and it did get the majority off. So, yeah, we got there in the end. So let's get the old spray stand in the super high tech spray booth. Get him in there and get him in all there. Oh, lovely. Oh, no, not so lovely. Not Adelaide. So, we're going for the standard Wilco's finest primer. Then it'll be BMW Mineral White, followed by a couple of coats of lacquer. Beautiful. All right. Somebody asked me how long I shake my rattle cans for. I have already pre-shaken and they've been in warm water. But right, I'll just give them a couple of final shakes. So let's give it a nice coat of primer. Particularly pungent today. I'll let that go off. Give it another light misting just to fill in a little bits and bobs. And then we'll get some colour on. Righty ho. There we go. One nice primed Volkswagen Beetle. <coughs> Ready for some white. You know, the drill bar now, a couple of light coats. And we'll give it some details, some lacquer, but let's just get some nice light coat. I should have really used a white primer, but I ain't got one, so you can do. Hopefully, it'll give a nice. Pretty sure it's a. It's not a. It's not a yeah, it's a pearlescent, not a metallic, but a nice pearlescent. Don't know if you'll be able to see the effect too much. 
But we shall see. Right. Okay. It's had a liquor pint. And to be perfectly honest, it's not very good. This has been painted and repainted three times. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. There's little spots everywhere. Little blemishes everywhere. And I've used this combination of uh, primer and paint before on... Where is it? Oh, on this one. The Nissan. And it's been fine. The same primer, the same paint. But on this one... We have several blemishes. But, it is what it is. There's not a lot I can do about it. So, let's do some detailing. I've got these lovely paint pens that I bought off the Bay of E, also known as eBay. And I've already done a couple. Given a little door handle and the VW sign on the front. So, so all they are, these paint pens, a couple of quid of eBay. And this is how I do all my detailing. Well, not meticulous like some people. All I do is, is the camera getting this? Yeah. I just, mate, just, just colour in the lights, like so, and like, like so. It's not perfect, because my eyes aren't very good, but it's the main thing. And what I'm also doing with silver is, I don't know what So there's wheels. Just going over the bits of wheels with my silver bent, just just tidy them off a bit. Just doing the spokes, doing the wheel. Ooh. Yeah, like I said, with my eyesight and my hand, it's quite hard. But it'll do. I'm not here for perfection. I mean, oh shit, the bed. Those ones I've already bloody done. What a knob. So just go over. Go over the wheel. Like that. Do all the bits and bobs. There we go. Just tidies it up a bit. Same with this one, we're missing a bit of silver's worn away, so we'll just go over the outside, do the spokes, and do that a little bit. And then what I found for the wheels, not the wheels, the tyres, I just use a marker pen, a sharpie, and just colour in that just to make it nice and black like a nice tire let's do the other one just there we go now Obviously, I broke. Well, I didn't. the the uh, The plastic bit of suspension to keep the wheels in had broken, so I'm going to end up super gluing the wheels in there. And oh, oh come here, you swine! And there, just going to super glue them in. I've got the interior. I've got the glass. 
the base. I just polished it up. I quite like the polished, bit dirty but polished look. Oh, actually, thinking about it, the pliers, the front grill, just there, is slightly bent. So we're just going to grab that and bend it back. There we go. It's back. So once I've got my super glue, glue the wheels back in, put the interior back together. I'm going to finish off all the details off camera. And we'll see what it looks like when it's all put back together. Even with these little paint blemishes everywhere, but that's the things that can go wrong. They don't have to be perfect all the time. Because sometimes things go wrong. And it doesn't all go to plan. But we'll see how it looks. Right, so it's the morning after the night before. Oops. We've got some details on the beetle. It's not brilliant, but this is what it is, isn't it? I've got my super glue. And because I broke the suspension bit, well, it fell apart. I've got to glue the wheels back in. And I'll, I'll glue it back together anyway. Couple of little dabs. Oh. Not squeezing. Yeah, one moment. Turns out if you actually uh, open the bottle, it comes right better. There we go. Little dab there. Little dab there. That. To bring it in a little closer. And then a little dab there. Little dab there. And this is industrial grade high viscosity. So leave that there. 30 seconds or so, it should be good. Oh, shoddy little jump cut. All right, now a bit of, oh, it's helped to fulfill what I'm doing. A bit more super glue in there. Oh, I need a touch for the glass. I don't think that super glue actually, it doesn't even touch. Oh, what a silly sausage. All right, I'm gonna finish off doing this because I can't do it when I did, and then we'll come back. Okay, so here's what it looked like before. It wasn't in bad condition, the wheels were broken, the paint was in a, I'd say, 75% condition. And even with all our problems, here's what it looks like. Yeah. You can see the bits of bubbling on the paint there. But. I just want, I don't want it to be perfect. Well, yeah, I do want it perfect, but it's nice to show you what can go wrong sometimes. And you see there's some on the bonnet there. It got painted and stripped and painted and stripped three times, and it still still couldn't get rid of the blemishes, so... It is what it is. I'm not, I've not been a fan of this white paint. Considering it's supposed to be a pearl essence, it's... Not brilliant, so I'll stick with metallics in future. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bit of a long one, but I hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, tell your mom, tell your friends. And I'll finish up with some pictures from different angles. Thanks very much, and to our bit.